so I wanted to welcome you here today and invite you to a new feature that I'm going to be posting over the next two weeks. Essentially, I've decided to call it five minutes on K-12 online learning with, and I'm going to have a series of folks that I'll be with. Um, so over the course of the next week, I've invited a bunch of my colleagues that I know from throughout the United States, Canada, and New Zealand right now um, to come and spend five minutes with me talking a little bit about K-12 online learning, particularly in the environment where so many folks have been forced into a remote teaching a remote instruction position. So one of the things that I've tried to stress as I've been talking about these types of things publicly on my blog and in the media is that what we see happening right now isn't really K-12 online learning or for that matter at the higher ed level. It's not really online learning at all. Um, we're essentially triaging an emergency situation here. And as a part of that triage, we are removing or we are moving some instruction into an online format because that's the only thing that's available to us right now. Um, online learning is something that is, is carefully planned and prepared where we look at the content that we've got to cover and we think about the learners that we're trying to reach and we plan out specific pedagogical strategies that we're going to use with the specific tools that we have available to us, thinking about you know the affordances and the challenges challenges that each of the tools provide for us and how we can leverage that to ensure that students are still learning. Now obviously that's not the situation we're in when some teachers are being asked to essentially move their instruction online in some cases in a matter of days. And so that's one of the reasons why I've taken to calling the situation that we're in right now specifically a remote instruction or remote teaching or remote learning aspect as opposed to online teaching or online instruction or online learning. But having said that, there's a lot of lessons that we've learned over the years when it comes to K-12 online learning that I think would be useful for folks to have at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite a bunch of my colleagues on. We're going to spend about five minutes. I'm going to ask them a little bit about themselves. And then I'm going to ask them to provide some advice or some guidance for um, teachers that may be moving into this environment. And then I'm going to ask them to provide some advice and guidance for parents who now have students at home that have to learn in this environment and what they can do about that particular thing. And so we're going to record it like this, doing it through Zoom with the gallery view, with me on one side and them on the other side, and hopefully I'll be paying a little bit more attention to them than what my cats are paying attention to me right now. And um, we'll post these at noon every single day, and they're designed to be these short clips, so hopefully uh, they'll be useful to folks. Uh, right now I've got enough set up so that we will run them for two weeks, which will get us to the beginning of April. And then depending upon how folks receive them, we may continue them past that point. 